Reggae interviews. Word sounds power. This is DJ745 here in Kingston, Jamaica with one of Jamaica's purest and greatest talents. He made his recording debut back in 2008 with Donovan Jermaine's Penthouse Records and from that day on he continues to shine in everything that he is doing. Blessings once again, Romain. Give thanks. It's a blessing. You know, welcome <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> no, it's always a joy to see you. I think, um, you know, the last time that we saw you was over in the UK yeah, yeah. last winter and then before that at Sunfest. So, yeah. yeah, we kind of feel like there's some great energy yeah, going on. Definitely. You know, um, I feel like the Almighty does, uh, you know, put in each other's way for right reasons. You know, music, it's growing and it's getting better. You know, the show's getting better. So, yeah, as I said, UK was the last time and it was such a good time good there time. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and I think the great thing is is that you know we always kind of see you like well dressed I kind of feel underdressed today because looking at your pretty oh, yeah. shirt and everything I feel underdressed today but I think everything that you do always just like you know sort of <laughs> is in a very professional and an articulate way yeah we try you know we try our best to you know because this morning I was saying to Nico um what, what's the setting what, what should I wear and he must say just be you like <laughs> we say all right then so I'll, I'll, I'll just wear a button-up shirt then, sure. so yeah yeah, but we always try to, you know, put ourselves together, together. and, you know, it doesn't matter the occasion, you know, we just, we just try. That's try all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> I kind of feel like you might have the same tailor as Beris Hammond, because every time we see Uncle oh. Beris, he has some of the, the nicest shirts always, going. We're always talking about that. Every time him see me, like, we're <laughs> on the same show, for example, he will say, where you get them pretty shirt there? <laughs> Watch, you know, mine you follow, mine, mine you follow me, you know. <laughs> and me always, I say, yeah, me, I try out do you tonight, you know. Or, you know, it's always fun, always a joy to see him, you know, but he is very, you know, particular about his, you know, his style and he might always wear some shirt where you wonder where, where you get, get them. them from. Yeah, so, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, we are super excited about this brand new album. Mm -hmm. The album has just been released and it's titled The Gentleman, out on VP Records. Beautiful, beautiful um, album and body of work. You know, we've been working on it for a long time, you know, and, and it's just a blessing to see the whole idea just manifesting and, 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 and people loving all the tracks from the album so far. You know, the first three songs that were out on the um, three songs that were out um, from the album would be you No know, Good Woman, Driver, Switch You On, and then recently the song with myself and Masika, a song called Been There Before, you know, which is doing um, pretty well so far, you know, and we just look forward for, for more growth with the album. You know, my whole aim is just. You know, having in the back of my head that, you know, to for our music to really and truly grow, we have to take the music to the people too. You know, um, you know, it's the reason why we're in the UK the other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like taking the music to the people because, you know, I feel like that is that is one of the way that it, you know everything is gonna grow. Like the the, the the performance and the fan base and just everything that we want to grow. So we're looking forward. The gentleman, beautiful album. You know, um, I, I keep telling people that I feel like it's my best work our body of work to date and and we give thanks for you know you know our company giving us you know um we would call that creative freedom the space yeah to 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 just to just make music in and and feel free and it, it was a tough challenge to, for us to put 12 tracks out of so many you know put to put 12 tracks together and, and you know it was it was challenging mm. but you know it, the album is here and um we love it and we know the world is gonna love it, love it. True, yeah, man. True. there's some really clever wordplay in the title now isn't there because the title of the album is the gentle man yeah. not the gentleman <laughs> right one word so yeah. um the thing is is that whenever we see you you're always very calm collected yeah. you never seem stressed you know on and off the stage there must be something that kind of stresses you <laughs> Sometimes, but you know, I I always find a way to not worry too much. I, I, I try to, you know, become the person who more try to figure things out. You know, how do I fix this? So, you know, something might be going on and, you know, it can be stressful, but how do I move forward? You know, because you can't change what happened already. But, but what you can do is try to find a way to move on from that you know how do, how do you fix this 
going forward you know and that is how i approach everything that comes with life you know sometimes it brings tears sometimes it it brings inspiration and sometimes we just have to put things like these in the music as well yeah you know but i don't i don't let anything at all worry me um sometimes i stress too much on things and it makes matters worse you know and anything that that is going to mess with my mental space i try to stay as far away from it you can never you can never stay away from having you know some kind of problems obstacles even, yes uh, obstacles even when you're not looking for it you know but you know we just try our best to find a way to move forward from each other, each other. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and i guess that you know you're sort of like playing the role of being the family man to your wife you've got two beautiful daughters yes. music working with other artists producers there's mm -hmm. quite a diff quite a few different hats that you wear on a daily basis yeah man definitely um it is it is something that I would call a beautiful challenge in the sense that you know just the way I, I, I came in the business and where I'm coming from too you know my goal was always to be a man you know I grew up in a situation where there wasn't you know like a, a father figure structure around in the family and you know my, my goal was always to be you know this man you know or maybe this gentleman you know you know um, you know and, and I learn from the people who I go around on a daily basis, especially since I come into the music. You know, people like, you know, Donovan Jermaine, you know, Vikings, Omar, Pete, all the people who were there from day one. Nico, you know, my manager who is here now, there's so much that I learned from him. You know, and I feel like all that I learned over this year over these years, you know, just being in a space where it's it's more mature thinking help to, 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 to cultivate this kind of personality and um, the kind of work, you know, and help me to even find myself too because for years I feel like I was searching for myself, you know, like I'm trying to, to, to figure out where I want to go in life itself and where I want to take my music, you know, the kind of music that I want to put out there. Um, and even though, even though I... I'm from a background where, you know, I, 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 there are certain morals and, and so on where I try to live up to. It's almost like if you don't have the right people around you to nurture that, you can easily lose your way, you know. So I feel like the whole Gentleman album is a mixture of that, just showing where I'm coming from. You know, people having or knowing Romain Virgo, the, 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 the boy who has this gentle way of doing things, this calm way of doing things, you know, just... That, that transformation into becoming a man now but with that same gentle approach right. and um you know it, that that's how you know, this is what that, that, that the entire body of this work is all about the growth in the music you know i feel it and that's why i say i feel like it's my best project to date because you know nobody has, has to tell me that you know i i feel it i know that you know there's so much growth in in this positive way musically speaking the lyrics that we put in the music you know and as you mentioned being a husband and a father and um just this family man now there's so much inspiration that comes from that as That's well slow. that we put in the music in and you know I, I guess the biggest challenge in putting this project together was just trying to decide which, which tracks because we don't want the entire album to sound like it's the same tempo it's the same feel it's you know so just putting all of that into 12 tracks is one of the hardest, hardest thing to, to to do you know so there are probably songs that are not on the album which will release at some point that people are gonna say whoa this should have been on the album yeah, but you can just imagine trying to make the album diverse you know and 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 doing that in 12 tracks yeah. and knowing that there are already three of them out four of them out already you know is how we're gonna put the, these other eight um the way we're gonna put um put these other eight to make it make sense you know, and have a diverse feel to it so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah man. well i think that you know when you sort of look back at the singles that have been released and um, we had good woman in 2021 yes. um those two tracks that were produced by don corley on someone that you collaborated with yeah. very early on in your career mm -hmm. um driver and switch you on now switch you on kind of had this really different energy and singing yes. style that we haven't really seen from remain yes um big up to dan Kalyan and kiri keys you know kiri keys wrote that song and dan produced the song and um you know, at times, 
you know, especially working with Dan, I, I trust him so much. And that's one of the, the good things about working with people who understand what they're doing. You know, it, it gives you that leverage, you know, that, that, you know, vibe to really and truly trust something that they might push to you. And the moment he sent me the idea, I'm like, whoa, I'm never, never um, sang like this before. And I, want, I want to do it. I want to, I want to do it. And um, so we, myself and Nico, we loved the idea. <laughs> we flew into um, Florida and, and recorded the songs. And it was just, it was just amazing doing um, both songs um, same time, you know, one after at the other. And they, they turn out beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, as I say, it's a difference, but it's, it's a beautiful d difference then, if you could call it that, because you've never done anything like that. But it's, 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 it's kind of introducing a different sound within reggae, which is where I, I see us going in terms of, if you want to see growth in the music, not losing the root of it, but introducing different sounds that will open the ears and the eyes of others in our people out there who have never heard reggae in, in such a style to, to you know even even be more um what do you call it it would make the music more palatable to them then you know for people who have who probably wouldn't even have the interest in listening to reggae music you know so um i love the idea you know and you know since recording it and putting it out we've seen the vibe like people are saying wow this is so different you know and sometimes it's good it's good to even hear that because it shows that you know um whatever we do you know once we do it well people seem to appreciate it you know so yeah, yeah man we give thanks give thanks yeah yeah man there's some really big clubs on the album, aren't there? Let's yeah. talk about a song about yeah. determination and perseverance. Yeah. Been there before, featuring Massacre. Yeah. To be somebody was my heart's desire, yes. so we never stopped, send out prior. Yeah. Massacre just nails his verse on that song. Trust me, he did absolutely amazing on that track. I, I was blown away. You know, when I heard his verse, I, I, I shed some tears because it was, you know, you know somebody can do and and would do well but when they go beyond their expectation it it it, it moves you in a different way and um you know so I'm, I'm so grateful you know um you know really really happy with the turnout of the song you know when we link link up massacre because we've been we've been performing on shows all over you know and um so we've been seeing each other and he, he, he's always like yo bro if we do some work together you know? you know and at the time he was working on generation of kings and it was just not probably the right time Timing. but you know but he wasn't he, he didn't turn it down as if like bro i'm busy now he was saying yeah man you know as soon as he, he finished up with whatever and um so we were just being patient and while working on other tracks from the album and one day i got a call from him to check my, my whatsapp and there was the mp3 of the song and it was just beyond my expectation you know even though i know that he's super talented and he would he would do well just listening to the lyrics it, it didn't sound like something that he rushed yeah it seemed like he took time Sorry. out to really and truly you know put thought behind the lyrics you know to make sure it it it, it matches well with what i'm saying what you're saying you know and so it's like two young young men who were coming from you know probably slightly different background in a sense but similar at the same time and just putting our stories together and it, it now makes sense to everybody you know and you know been there before is my story and when i was writing the song it was it was so personal that Nico said, it is amazing, but I, I want other people out there to be able to relate to the song and feel like this is their song. You know, so, you know, he, he, he suggested making some changes in the song and that, that's what we did. And, it, it, you know, just listening back to the song even now, it's like I'm so happy that, that I did that, you know, because what it did was, was allow is allow people to feel a part of of the music feel a part of us when you know like i can just imagine performing the song on stage and everybody's now singing it like yo you wrote my song being that, able to relate to it from the heart yes yeah, yeah. yes so yeah. that was the approach from day one yeah um with with with, with the suggestion from nico, nico. and um such a beautiful song powerful yeah. as well yeah 
there was um, a post around your Earth Strong, I think back in January, where you were singing One Drop as a youth. And I think that you quoted um, that IG post with great things take time. Yes. Greater things take a little longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was such a moving post that you put because, you know, it just really helps your fan base to show the growth and development that you've made as an artist over the last 15 or so years as well very very moving yeah man um <laughs> you see like every time i watch back something from the past like you know something from either all together sing or rising stars you know it it it, it brings back so much memory you know so many memories and um you know j just just looking back at how everything kind of come together, you have to sit back and say, "Wow, I can't believe that I'm here now." Sometimes that's how I, I, I like I, I'm saying, "Wow," you know, the youth from country who like the first time a camera would set up in front of me like this, my eyes would be like, because I know that the world is looking at me now. Uh, so just coming from that kind of background and 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 be able to, you know, hold hold it together. You know through the tough times because it was just the other day i was talking to somebody on an interview i don't remember who and i was saying when when you think no it wasn't that interview it was just reasoning with kabaka okay yeah we were at massacre's show and we we're backstage and we we're just reasoning and we we're saying um when you look at my career though like i can't remember there was a time where you know you have artist here in Jamaica that says you know I ran the place for a while like my songs were doing this around Jamaica I can't remember even I was saying I can't remember even having a hit song like a song come comes out and then boom it just blow up oh. it, it, it's, it's like a, a, a working process like 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 you I put out a song and then I have to go out there in the world and sing it and work it and work it and work it and then two three four years after this song just just rise up you know there's so many songs you know like if not all the songs in my my set now that i do that it just happened the same way same way yeah. same way so you know it's, it's like as i say you know great things it it it, it takes it, it it takes a while you know and 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 that is the kind of believability that is something that I, I i keep reminding myself each time that it might not happen today but you have to just keep on believing keep on pushing forward because you know when you're building something that is going to be great it's going to take a while and and and, and you, you could just use you know um one of the greatest that ever um did this music like bob marley for example and see the work that he has been doing over the years and how much he had to fight you know for people to even play his music here in jamaica Acceptance. and now it's like these songs aren't going anywhere like they're just here to to remind people to <laughs> to be strong and believe in themselves and and just push forward you know and it, it, it's the same way we have to we have to view the music no matter how Oh, 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 rough the business might get at times, or it might seem like our oh, music is not doing well. We have to just believe, especially the ones who are doing it from the heart and, and, and not doing it for a, a specific kind of thing, like the monetary side of everything. It's like, I personally just want to see the growth in the music. You know, I want the next young artist to look on and say, I want to do it like Romain. And that the only way that is going to happen is if I continue to do it the way I'm doing it. Because the moment I kind of shift and start to do something like I'm not sure what I want to do, then that one person out there will probably be looking on and say I want to do it like him will be confused as well. You know, so you know, great things is gonna take time, but you have to just believe and keep focused and keep working. And that is my that is that is what I, I I wake up every day with on my mind, you know. So it might not happen right now, but maybe next week, next month, next year, next five years from now, it, it might happen. just become something big. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think you know, getting dancehall giant Masco, If that wasn't enough, you've <laughs> also got uh, the Afrobeat star Pata Rankin oh, on the song "I Believe." Yeah. Um, that's the song for all the single mothers, and it's produced by Silly Walks out yeah. in Hamburg. Yes. Beautiful, silly walks. Somebody that um, we work with over the years, you know, and somebody who we really and truly respect as a as a team, you know, um, as an industry. I respect them, 
you know, um, like on behalf of our industry, I want them to know that we, we, we appreciate them and what they've done for, what, you know, reggae music and Caribbean music, you know, so far. And, um, you know, so they were the ones who produced Soul Provider, the cover of Soul Provider. And, you know, they sent us this rhythm because at the time they were, you know, kind of feeling out the Afrobeat vibe. They were working with a lot of Afrobeat artists and they sent, sent me the rhythm and I had the rhythm just vibing, vibing for months, you know, and one day I was home and I found this vibe, you know, and I said, you know, my, my first thing to do is send it to Nico, Nico, you know, just for him to say, yes, this sounds good or this feels good, send it to Nico, he, he loved the vibe, he loved the energy, and um, we, we wrote the song, you know, we finished the song and, you know, I, I remember, I think it was probably 2017 or 2018, and myself and Pat Rankin were on a, 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 a Afro-Caribbean kind of show in LA. And so that's where I, I met him for the first time. But I've been hearing his music, music. Yeah, yeah. you know, over the years. And so he, we were just there talking and he was telling me how much he, you know, he, he, he loves my music, you know, and he w was just giving me encouragement to keep strong, you know. And from there on we were linking. And, you know, so while having the song, I was thinking to myself, wonder if you know Pato would be interested in 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 giving us a verse on this track so nico said nothing beats a try i reach out to him and he was ready and willing and i was like yeah. whoa this is amazing <laughs> but but just like massacre he was working on an album at the time um so it, it took a while too and he just he just made the same vibe just sent me a, a the track one day over whatsapp and we were like, whoa, this is amazing, amazing. you know, yeah. and, you know, we were so happy, you know, we called in um, the girls to do harmony on the song um, and just turned out to be one of the most powerful okay. songs again for all the mothers on this album. So, especially single, single parents, single mothers. Um, out there, um, sometimes I listen to it and I and I, 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 it's almost like I'm happy the way we even put this song together. You know, you, you, it's it's a song. You know, Afrobeat is something that that is gonna make you move and gonna make you dance. So it's almost like giving them the opportunity to just dance their worries away and knowing that you know tomorrow is gonna be a brighter day and you know just just keep the faith it's, yes. it, that's it's it, it that is what it, it's really and truly saying and and telling them thanks for being who they are at the end of the day but powerful song and i believe it will do well and we just give thanks again to Pato Rankin and his team and you know everybody who made this track possible, possible. silly walks you know nico you know everybody we, we give thanks for that mm. one as well mm. yeah let's talk a little bit about nico brown now you've worked yeah. very closely with nico um lifeline music for a number of years and i think from the second album onwards yeah. you've been working really really closely together and i feel that he's very instrumental not only in this new album the gentleman yeah. but i think in terms of like how your career has been progressing yeah. over the last decade for real he can be a pain winner really <laughs> all right go on spill the beans then <laughs> 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 no man, he's he's one of one of my you know um, what would I call it? No, one of the people who who help fe, 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 fe motivate me every single day. To like to just get up and do things, you know. And sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with him saying, "Romy, you you probably need to do this. You need to go here. You need to, you know." It's more just watching him and how. He operates when it comes down to not just music, but even as a family man too. Mm. Just just being around and, and see how he operates with his family, it is motivation for 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 me to you know be better, be a better man, you know, towards my family, and also to take the music more serious. You know, sometimes when when we we are here and we record and we, I'm going home like probably four. 4 a.m., 5 a.m. in the mornings. Um, the next day I will be like, yeah man, it was a good vibe, man, don't it? Over the phone, and he must say, yeah man, I eat me in a studio, I clean up now. I mean, I say, we think you don't sleep or something, no. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's very hardworking, um, somebody who takes the business very serious. He doesn't want to miss an appointment. If he's late for anything, it's like a headache for him, you know, and 
I feel like that side of him is 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 rubbing off on me as well. And you know, it's not that I wasn't like this, but he he's even helping me to be more punctual and 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 you know, just just take every single thing that has to do with music much more serious, you know, than than I even had, you know. So. Just a blessing, man, to have him in, in, you know, being a part of my career. He's not just managing, but he's producing tracks. He's dealing with everything, like if he should go on tour now, he's the one behind, he just making sure that everything is all right. We're on the road, he's taking pictures, he's making videos, he's, there's so much that he's doing. You know, sometimes I, I, I have to stop and say, how do you do how it? How do you do it all? You know? Yeah. So, you know, if everybody could have like a Nico around, um, especially in this business, I'm telling you that it would be so much better. better. Yeah. You know, so I'm I'm so thankful. I'm grateful for him, and um, my wish for him is that the Almighty will just bless him with more health and strength to not just take care of everything that has to do with me and the business, but himself, his family, so that you know everything can can last longer you know mm. you know and and and, and stronger <laughs> yeah I think that um, you know, I've, I've, I've sort of you know sort of been around him, seeing his work ethics, and I guess that you know from coming from a family of musicians, producers, yeah. that's that's where he, when he was a little kid, he was watching his father, his yeah. uncles in it's the music, good. and it's kind of like just soaked in yeah. at a subconscious level. So yeah, we give thanks yeah, for that. Man. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, focusing on this new album, I mean, there's so many great songs on here, and um, songs like "Want You Now," yes. "Red Dress." Yes. So many big songs. Trust me. Um, as, as I mentioned earlier, it was it was such a, a task, you know, trying to to choose songs, you know, because there were other songs that were, you know, kind of similar in topic, you know, but yet having their own stories. Um, so it was just a matter of feel now, you know, and um, red dress want to know, you know, if we should talk about red dress, which is produced by it, I was. It's produced by Ramish Entertainment alongside Nico um, and Slider from Ramish Entertainment. Um, when we got that rhythm, I was so surprised, you know, because I know that normally, you know, I, I guess I was thinking about the kind of music that Ramish would normally produce. So when when we got that rhythm from Slider, I was like, whoa, this is different. And when we got it, there was some, um, we call it steel pan playing in the rhythm as well and I'm like oh, I've never heard of, like probably a long time I haven't heard a reggae rhythm with that steel pan sound in it and I'm you know it just it just had me like the moment I heard it and I couldn't help myself but just write a song and the song that we came up with was was, was red dress you know um please wear that red dress again take me back to the beginning I love to watch you in it and I cherish every minute to see you wear that dress again and yeah beautiful song and something that I know that people especially people who love that old school um, lovers rock kind of vibe would appreciate a song like that you know um, um, want you know to want you know is is a very special song to me I I I, I remember you know just just starting to write when I when I started to, to write that song before I even sh shared the idea with Nico, you know I I just wanted to write a, a, a chorus that had a long um, melody like want you now, you know I, this was the, like the, the first thing I had in mind like I wanted a chorus with something like that. And when the melodies came, I, I said, I'm not going to let go of this. You know, at one point I was listening back to it and I'm like, I wonder if this is a little bit too old school sounding in terms of the lyrics. And Nico was saying, I understand what you're saying, but the musical side of it, that, that's where the balance is. You know, and um, sometimes I just allow, I have to take myself outside of it because at the end of the day, we, you know, as artists, we can try to make music for ourselves, or we can either make music for the people who are who are listening. You know, some most times we are like, hey, this song is gonna do so good, so well, you know. And then when it goes out there, it's like, you know, people don't, it's, or it probably don't do as well, you know, as they thought it would. You know, so sometimes it just show that we can't be into ourselves too much. We have to try and 
and whatever we feel in the moment just sing that because that is what will connect with people and not try to please ourselves because we have the ability to sing all these slurs and all these lyrics and and we're musicians so we can do whatever we want you know sometimes you have to just make it as simple and as clear and as natural too as it comes and that was it with a song like want you know so you know i know i know people will will love it the company was like everybody in, in 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 from the label like the first time they heard that song everybody was saying this song even before we voiced the one with Masik and and so many others they were saying that wow this song our a and r called us you know and said like neil and said wow everybody loves this song bro we're gonna have to make this song a, a <laughs> single <laughs> i'm like for real you know but so it's a good look you know it, it shows that you know if, if they are feeling it, they are like looking at it from like a fan point of view, then others will feel it, we'll too. Feel it too. So, yeah, yeah. yeah man, we yeah. give thanks. There are so many big songs on the album. I mean, you worked with another UK producer, yes. um, Cadenza. Yes. Let's talk about Cadenza because, you know, again, I think that the variety of producers that you have on this new album really sort of like them portrays the different sides of Remain Virgo. Yeah, it's... it's that's that's a, the powerful thing about it you know sometimes you see you can work with producers that are known but then you can also work with producers that you probably never heard of before but then there's just something a rhythm that they send to you and it hits you and it just hits you in a yeah. different way and that was the same thing with him you know just that the, the, the kind of vibe that the rhythm had you know just led us to writing these kind of melodies and co coming out with this kind of vibe you know so um it, it speaks to the as i said the diversity in the album you know just songs that have different kind of feel you know and and you know the, the, the way how i feel about it i hope that everybody out there when they listen to it you know they will feel that same kind of vibe, like no song sounds like the next, the next one, one you know yeah. and that that is that is the aim especially in putting a project that has only 12 songs on it you know so yeah yeah man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Did you um, play any music on the album? Because I know that you spent some time, obviously, at Edna Manley when oh. earlier on um, you studied for a major in voice and minor in keys. Yeah. Did you play any music on any of the tracks? No, <laughs> but that is something I would want to do in the future for sure. I I know that there are times when we're in record the recording session with musicians, and there's something that I would hear. Maybe I can't really tell them. You know, um, theoretically, what note or whatever, but I can something probably inside you. Yes, yeah. I can just hum it and say something like this. So, for example, um, been locked up inside for two years and change, seeing you but can't touch you. That's messing with my brain. There's just this, this riff, turn guitar. Burn. So every time that that like I'm just hearing that in my head and I'm like you have to play this like the only that like, Nico was looking at me like you sure I mean I say yes please make him do it even if you don't use it just record that and he did it like probably three four times and Nico was there and say wow it has it has, it has a vibe for real you know mm -hmm. so sometimes as I say music as Bob Marley say. When it hits you, you feel no pain, and I, I and I and I guess when it hit me that time, it was just joy and just happiness, and wanted exactly that, wanting exactly that on the track. So, yeah, it's a blessing to can share something outside of lyrics and melodies, but when you can also hear something from a musical point of view in terms of a musical instrument playing something, it is special, you know. Sure. So. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that and there are a few other tracks from the album that where I, I would suggest harmonies. Um, there is this song with myself and uh, Jesse. Jesse Bridges. Yeah, Bridges. Um, the harmonies for that, you know, I was from way before we even started doing harmony, I was saying like, they have to sing these lines, you know, and um, this way, like I wanted this, this um eye trees feel okay to it you know and so when we call them in we were we, we had the girls which are the same girls tori and janil and and lee carly king who um sang harmony on most of the tracks i think it was probably two or three 
tracks from the album that they didn't sing harmonies for, you know, but you know, it, it's, it's just like a collaborative effort and just ideas flowing in and them kind of understanding what I'm feeling and they will try to give th th their best effort, you know, to go as close as possible to what I am hearing or what I'm feeling and it always turns out amazing because sometimes you can hear something but you cannot really produce it. They are the ones with the, with, 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 with the ear yes. for it and, and uh, the and can give you that feel and it was just amazing to hear especially a track like that and what they did with it so you know i feel good as i said the, the, the whole creative direction it was there was much freedom on this project you know we, we got so so much freedom to to do as we wanted and i feel like this is why this album turned out the way it is mm. and i'm just happy i'm just happy that the, you know, the, the, the gentleman is here now. He's a, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, th th there's so many great songs out in this collection of 12 songs. Um, one song we must talk about today, though, is the one with you and the fireman. Give you must pay. You must pay. He, let me just big up Kibbutan first of all, because he's the first artist to, to you know, bring me on tour with him. You know, way back. I think it was probably 2010, 2011, around there. Um, big up to Miss Kemp as well, you know, Mayor Soul, Soul Rest in Peace. Um, she was, you know, she really took care of me on, on, on that tour and just wanting me to to just give it my all back then, you know. Um, there were nights when we travelled from different cities and when we reached we had like probably 45 minutes to do the entire set and share an entire set between myself, Kepit and Munga and Arabi. And at the time, there was no night that Kepit was going up there and saying, hey, it's just half an hour I have. He was, if, if, even if it's one song, two songs, that's the kind of person he is. So, all of love and blessings to him. You know, I always wanted to do a song with him and it was all about the right time. You know, you, you can never go around when the, the right time for something you know and um covid i must mention kind of bring out a different side of me as well you know we were, we were working on this album way before like recording songs but i feel like what we we all went through during covid kind of opened a different side of my life and you know just my creative spirit or energy to write more and, and even from a deeper um, perspective and it was really and truly just looking at everything that we were going through as as a people and um, how it made me feel within at that time it was like you know as the song start um, said you know sunshine in today you know children cannot play I just want to be free take these shackles off me that, that was exactly how I feel. I feel I felt at the time and I know everybody around the world felt like we were really and truly locked away and just you just can't even leave your house like you want you just wanted to be free you know and that is where that song is coming from and you know I while writing it I was saying maybe this is the moment maybe this is the moment I feel like Capleton putting a verse on this track would make it so much more powerful okay. and um, so we, we reached out to him through Pete because uh, you know Pete no Capitan way before me you know and he was again just more than willing more, more than, than willing yeah, yeah. you know to, to, to do the track you know we, we linked up at Big Yard Studio for to record his verse and he just walk around in the booth this was just one of the most amazing times you know like just experiencing you know somebody not here not hearing the song before just just going around there listening to what the song was saying one time and just started vibing and it was i wish i i i, I took my phone out and recorded what was going on but because of how it felt in the moment you like the phones didn't matter you just wanted to experience that moment just yes, watching a yeah a legend you didn't want to miss a moment you know sometimes you're there and something is going on and you're there record recording at the same time it takes away so much from that moment you know and um i was just happy that i could you know sit see there and, and see it in my own eyes and just see him work and so powerful 
every single thing that he said and and, and he was giving it his all i'm telling you you know i watch him give it his all just like he give give gives um a show everything when he goes on stage it was the same thing inside of the studio and um it turned out to be such a powerful track and um i just can't wait to get on stage you know whether i'm performing this song by myself or he's on the show and can perform that song with me can't wait to get out there and sing it but beautiful song um you must pay and i feel like it's a song that will connect with so many people around the world just remembering how it was a couple of years ago and um just you know if something like this should ever happen again i feel like people will have something to to turn to a message to turn to in knowing that you know nothing lasts forever but you know we have to fight we have to fight True. yeah man mm -hmm. I mean, I know that our viewers today are going to be absolutely loving the sounds of the new album, The Gentleman, which is yeah. out now on all platforms. Yeah. You made history as one of the youngest contestants ever to win Digital Rising Stars, yeah. um, Jamaica's talent competition at the age of 17. Yes. And you've been touring ever since. I think the first time that I saw you perform was, I think, at Alligator Pond, Rebel Whoa. Salute, Whoa, yeah, yeah. around about 2009 or 10. And then, you know, we've seen the energy sort of go up year on year release after release i bet you can't wait to tour this album <laughs> believe me i can't like i literally we're, we're just we're, we're we're putting things together now to just go out there you know what i mean our our shows starting out here in jamaica locally around the 8th 9th 10th you know of this month you know we're looking to go to you know saint anne you know which is where i'm from you know montego bay jamaica saint elizabeth you know i wish i could go to all 14 parish and do a show <laughs> but it's not easy to, to to plan three shows back to back to back you know um but you know I, we, we know it will be it will be amazing you know like to kick that um that tour off here in jamaica but we're looking forward to going back to europe this year um you know the caribbean is somewhere that we're always you know performing as well there's so many other places out there that we want to take this album and i can't wait you know um each year as i say you, you saw me in 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 2008 9 at rebel salute you know that that's just been the the pace of my career over the years just this steady growth you know um i always say to people that like rebel salute for example is such an important show to the development of so many young artists that's where i started out and i did like three four years and then the next year i was on it performing in my own band mm. you know and now i'm out here just you know doing other shows out there in the world you know and getting better as time go by so it's just good to believe in self but it, you need people to believe in you mm. as as well i feel like we all we all need that we all deserve that you know and that is how we could grow to this point now that we can put out an album and just can't wait to get out there and perform these songs. These songs, you know, become known, and we we, we just we just it just build that believability again to go back inside the studio and record another album and try to tour the world. You know, as I, as I mentioned before, the only way that we're gonna really and truly get to bring our music or push our music out there is to bring it to the people. So I give thanks for the opportunity to first of all be able to perform. Not just record in the studio, but go on stage just and perform and connect. and connect with people. I give thanks for that first of all, and um, just can't wait to, to just continue growing, you know, and um, building and and and, and um, you know just having new people listening, to hearing my music, you know, and loving it, and and just you know that same steady pace until we achieve every single thing that you know that the Almighty have in, in in His plan for me and for us as a team and as an industry, you know, to just, to just see all of that manifest. Yeah, man. I think that, you, you know, with the work that you've been putting in over the years, the team that you have, you're definitely on the right pathway. And, you know, we just look forward to more and more greatness in years to come. But right now, we need to soak in this new album, The yeah. Gentleman. Yeah. I want our viewers to stream it on all platforms, get the physical copies, because yeah. that's the only way the music grows. Only way, only way the music grow. And as I mentioned, physical copy. I, I, I just love the idea of still having a physical copy of an album. Because it's like, you can, you, from years from now, when people maybe forget about what a CD looked like or 
what a vinyl, vinyl looks, like. looks like. You know, you can show the younger generation coming up like this was what we used to play back then. Back then. You know, so I think it it's it's it, it's still such a like a like a great idea and such an important part of music itself. Now I'm not gonna talk about reggae, just music in general. So, you know, I encourage everybody, you know, you know, stream and download on all platforms but if you can get a physical copy of this album you'll love it there's an there's such a nice booklet in there with you know the producers of the songs and you know the, the lyrics from 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 the songs you'll love it the whole history the whole history yeah. you know at, at, at this album so yeah man blessings and we give thanks for everybody who've been supporting you know my music you know supporting reggae music you know supporting this industry over the years you know it's 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 really and truly a blessing yeah man remain do you know it's been an absolute pleasure sitting down to talk to you about the album we give thanks and we're going to see you again in the uk very soon of course of course i look forward like in the summer right we're going to be in the uk and um we can't wait to get there you know and get back on stage and sing sing our hearts and souls out for you guys love respect bless respect, respect. Reggae Interviews. Word, sound, power.